Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import a Daz Genesis character into iClone in FBX format using 3D Exchange. First, I'm going to need to customize my character in Daz like you see me doing here. Uh, once I'm done that, I just need to directly export my character into FBX format. Make sure to customize your settings according to the type of export you want. Next, I want to open up my FBX in 3D Exchange and make sure that I deselect Adjust Material Color automatically. Once I do that, the first step is to simply select Convert to Non-Standard Character to begin my characterization process. Daz's characters can be bone mapped in a single click by selecting the mapping template available above the bone mapping reference image on the right. Also, you'll want to make sure that you load up your character with the standard Genesis T-Pose as well by selecting Load T-Pose and choosing the Daz template. Once that's all set up, you'll want to make sure that the active box is selected so that you can make some changes to the final characterization of your model. In the property panel, you can make changes to the feet offset in order to straighten out your character's leg bones. Notice that the hands are actually breaking through the body mesh because the character is a little too round around the waist. In order to fix this, I'm going to deselect active and go back to adjust my T-pose. For this particular character, I'm going to rotate the clavicle bones up a bit. This will cause my character's default pose to have a wider arm stance and therefore prevent arm breakthrough. You can see a better result this time. You can use the calibration motions to test whether or not your chosen T-pose is ideal for your character. There are a number of other different calibration motions you can use to check out if your T-pose is correct. Try a bunch of them for your different body parts to get a better idea on how to adjust your character's T-pose to the ideal specs. If you're happy with the results, simply click Convert and then export it into iClone. Once that's done, your character will be in iAvatar format and you'll be able to apply any iClone motion to it like this. If your character's polygon count is too high, Daz Studio has a decimator plugin that you can use to lower the polygon count of your character for faster real-time performance in iClone. If you lower the polygon count to roughly 10,000, you'll get the ideal results for your animation in iClone, and your character will consume less resources. Again, this depends on the power of your computer as well. Also, be aware that if you have large size texture maps, this will make the file larger too, especially if they are embedded into your character. Overall, smoother character motion makes for a more fun and streamlined animation experience, 